Welcome to A Fables A Day, in which the archivist reviews an issue of Fables A Day up till the final issue, where he will undoubtedly cry like a baby. And there is no restraint on spoilers, so if that's a problem for you, well then go read the series and then come back. On with the show! Fables number 14, The Mouse Police Never Sleep, part 1 of Storybook Love, in which blue and gold make evil. So, while Bluebeard is out fencing with Prince Charming, a member of the Mouse Police, Sergeant Wilfred, and his faithful talking mouse steed, Rex, sneak him to Bluebeard's home to read his journal. Meanwhile, Snow White and Big Beard talking and generally catching the audience up on what's going on in town lately. Even worse, when Rex and Sarge are spying, they find Bluebeard in bed with none other than the freaky lay Goldilocks. Fun fact, Bluebeard tells her to stop making advances towards his goblin butler Hobbs, as it's making Hobbs uncomfortable. Seriously, she's a total skank. Regardless, she sees the mouse and rider and chases after them, yet Hobbs is able to take out Rex with a knife. Sarge manages to get away. Bluebeard then has to enact his evil plan sooner, using a potion to mind control Bigby and Snow out into the woods for a few days together, all the while with Goldilocks ready to take him out. Sweet Christmas this was a doozy! It sets up a great arc with Bluebeard and finally gets my one true pairing together for the first time. Sort of. But even more than that, we see the addition of the Mouse Police, which is a really interesting notion in the ever-expanding universe that is Fables. Though I did forget that Goldilocks was in this, only because I truly do hate her character. And that's a... I'm supposed to, so yay? Anyways, that's all for this time. Check back tomorrow, and let's see where this little adventure ends.